Hello everybody, I am Manoj Mitchell. Today we are going to talk about PNP PowerShell commandlets with SharePoint Online. So here we are going to learn how to create a site column, delete a site columns with a PowerShell script, which is designed using the modular approach and how to debug those modular approach PowerShell scripts and how to generate a bad file. Okay. So let's get started. So here I have a folder structures, create site columns. So in that I have created an input a folder which is having all my input folder structures whatever the input data is required so that i kept here if i see here i have a, a <clears throat> csv file with a few columns it's and having a few min, uh, bare minimal properties which is required to create a site columns like the display name internal name type required and the group name so i'm going to create a four site column it's called is active type boolean Full description type note start date and end date type date and time okay so let's move to the next one so module uh, is a folder where i'm going to create a functions so let me open and explain that function so this is a function i just use create site column similarly we can create a number of functions here so these functions need the input file path and the, where I need to create the site columns. So it's a site collection name or the URL here. I just took the URL accordingly my functions work. So I'm going to read uh, all the data from the CSV file, but I have, and going iterate for one by one item. So on the first one, I'm just taking the display name, internal name, type, and the group type accordingly, and getting the PNP fields object. So just getting the internal name of the particular column. If field already exists, okay in my uh, site collections so it just says uh, site column already exists if it doesn't exist and I, again i have a few property type that required equal to true or not just need to set uh, that particular things so just like i said the column here if required happen required not required then i didn't mention that attribute so it's like at pnp field display name the group name and internal name and last is uh, my data type what i'm going to mention so this is the functions is just doing all the activity here. So apart from that, if I move out, I have a main uh, PowerShell script, which is going to invoke my function. So if I see uh, that one, so here is the <clears throat> one. So it just uh, set my current folder path. Uh, so if any error comes, it just create a log uh, here. So I'm going to create with uh, my site collection, which has come as a parameter and just provide the credentials and here it will prompt on the window and I just type the username and password here. I will showcase how it's work. Okay, and then calling the particular functions which I defined into the separate PowerShell script files. Okay, so that's all. And then last we have a bat file and how the bat file uh, created it here also it's a straightforward way. You just set the current directory path and just give the file name which file is going to invoke in the current uh, <clears throat> directory path. And then it's just a default parameters. Uh, that way I set it, there's a no arguments to all those things, okay. So let me run uh, this one and see how it's behave. I just double click on this particular bat, bat file. So it's trying it just ask the site collection URL. I just uh, browse my site collections here. If you see, there is, I, I'm going to create uh, one a group with the name of demo. Nothing exists as of now. So I just take uh, the site collection URL, put it here, enter, provide the credentials. Enter. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. So you can see it start creating uh, the site column uh, for me is active full description start date and date. If we if I go it again and refresh the site. So here we can see the so demo site column came earlier it was not there if I browse. So I can get all the columns with the same data type what I created. Okay. So now moving to the next uh, portion. So which is called the delete site column. So here delete site columns also I have a same structures. If you see the input file, in the input file, I have a four columns. 
what columns I'm going to delete. So it's exist already, which I have created just now is active full description, start date and end date. And similarly, the module I have, I created the one function into that particular module. So let me showcase this one, how it's worked. So similarly, it's just need the input file path and site collections URL, uh, taking the objects of the uh, CSV file path and iterate one by one and just check if the field exists is going to remove hyphen PNP field hyphen identity site column name. If not, then uh, the site column already deleted or it doesn't exist. So like that message we can give and we can provide the, some fancy colors to highlight it just like a green or many other colors. Okay, so moving further, I have a one uh, another PowerShell script, which is a master PowerShell script, is uh, which is responsible to calling all my modules or functions. If I open it, so this also you can see how it's uh, it just uh, uh, invoke my site collection URL and take the current path where I'm going to exec execute this particular file because once getting the path of the directory, I need to set which uh, PowerShell command I need to run. So I'm going to set it here. Okay, so once it's uh, set, so before that, just like uh, we need to use the connect hyphen PNP online to connect with the SharePoint online sites and credentials, we'll just use the get hyphen credential. It prompt the window and ask the username and password at a runtime. There is no need to store or hard code anywhere. And <clears throat> last, I'm just calling the function name, which is defined in the module folder and passing the parameter, my input file and the site collections. So, that's it. Uh, last is just like similarly, I have a bat file. So bat file is just set the current directory path and give the my parent uh, PS1. So that's it. Let me close it. So instead of directly run it, I will uh, debug this particular script and just showcase how to debug uh, those sections also. Okay. So let me close the others. So what I have. So now I have a two files. This is my the main files and this is my the functions which I'm going to invoke using this one. You can see the delete. So I'll put the debugger somewhere and just showcase. So I just post here onto the debug section and toggle breakpoint F9. And here also I will put one debugger, debug, toggle F9. So debug it here and just find out how it's work. So let me click on run. So, okay. So it just asks for the URL. I take the URL here. So if I paste prompt for credential, no directory dot on microsoft.com. And here I'll provide the password. Enter. Let's see, it's came here. I'll just press uh, F10. So it moved to the next file as you can see it here. I'll just press uh, F10 and showcase how it's coming. It just started editing here. So it'll just uh, directly press the control F5. Okay, so you can see it here if I oh. Uh, it just deleted all the four site column which we have mentioned is active full description start date and end date if i browse the site let me refresh it okay so all these four columns should go so it doesn't exist so this is a way uh, what we learn here how to create a site column delete the site columns create a modular structures and use the bat file okay so thank you very much for uh, watching this tutorial if you like this uh, video please uh, like my channels or subscribe on my channels thank you very much